I'm here. You're gonna be my little checker. You? How's that sound? Hmm, so you did miss me. That's why you're all cuddling and bugging me and being a nuisance. I love it when he misses me. He doesn't do it very often. Shows affections. I think he's like reaching the teenager phase in his life where he's like, I hate everyone. I don't want to be touched. So I'm going to take these as they come. And then he's going to get older and all he's going to want to do is sleep. Mm, isn't that right? You can't... I need to check and see if I'm in focus, Nico. I know. The camera's very intriguing. Hey you guys, it's Teresa and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the series that I want to reread in 2019. And by series, I clearly mean series books with more than one book preceding them. So it'll be like a duology, trilogy, quartet, series. Because I never know how to do these videos without making the title super long. But the first series or trilogy, quartet, thing that I want to read is A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. If you guys don't know, Osiris J. Mass has quickly become one of my favorite authors of all time, alongside Cassandra Clare, and a lot of her writing and how she writes her characters have heavily influenced my own writing style and my own personal way of writing characters and plots and all that stuff. So it's no surprise I want to reread the series. I technically haven't finished this yet. I have a Court of Thorn, a Court of Frost and Starlight sitting back here that I need to finish in December. But even then, I don't think the series is over just yet, so... But, until we hear more news about that, I'm gonna count it as done and reread it. So, if you guys don't know, this follows 19-year-old Feyre as she kind of kills a wolf to find out it's a fairy and is dragged into the courts as kind of retribution for, for killing this fairy person and realizes it's like a weird Sleeping Beauty retelling, but also not. So I'm excited to go ahead and reread this book and fall in love with the characters all over again and cry all over again. The next series I need to pick up or reread over 2019 is really no-brainer. I just mentioned her name like a couple minutes ago. I finished her latest book like a couple of days ago. Her her newest series just got announced a couple of days ago. So, and that's The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. This follows 16-year-old Clary Frey as she goes into Pandemonium Club and watches a group of people kill a guy. Only he's not a guy, he's a demon, and she's not a girl, she's a shadow hunter whose entire life is dedicated to hunting demons and maintaining peace. And, like I said, Cassandra Clare is one of my favorite YA authors, like, ever. I reread this book whenever I'm in a writer's block, and she has heavily influenced not only my life, but also my writing style and everything else in between. So I'm excited to reread the series that kind of did her, it, that did it, that did me in for her writing style and everything and captivated me and see how much I loved it but I mean I scream anytime Jace is on the page and anytime Alec and Jace have a bromance moment so I'm this is not gonna be a surprise if I still love it. The next series I need to finish I want to reread is actually not even done yet and the author's had some issues in her life and she hasn't been able to finish it out but that is The Night World by L.J. Smith. Now this follows a cast of characters and it follows this entire world like it's an urban fantasy again and we follow a bunch of vampires and humans and witches and ghouls and everything and witch hunters no, which under is vampire hunters, where they kind of, um, what's the word, intermingle and see how that works and see that some of these old laws that have been put in place aren't really working out anymore and see that these old powers are starting to come back. And I'm excited to reread this. I loved it growing up. One of my favorite all-time series ever. I just wish it would get finished soon and if anyone knows about any news of this or what's going on, let a sister know because I would really like to know what's going on. The next series on this list is a trilogy and it has a spin-off already that I'm kind of hesitant to pick up but it also involves Noah so I can't really say no and that is the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer trilogy by Michelle Hodkins. This follows I believe 16 year old 16 year old Mara Dyer as she wakes up in a hospital after a building crashed down on her and her friends leaving them leaving her friends dead. And it kind of follows her and her unreliable narration as she struggles to figure out if like, hey, maybe I'm going crazy, maybe I'm not going crazy. So I'm really excited to see if I still liked it. I picked up the three books in like a span of like a month or two in my freshman year of college. So I'm excited to see if I still loved these series or the first two books. The third book was kind of eh, as much as I did before. The next series is one that I desperately need to buy a new 
like book for and that is the Balefire Quartet by Kate Tiernan. Kate Tiernan again is one, another one of my favorite authors of all time. I just haven't been able to read any of her new writing recently because I forgot about it. But this follows two twins, Thais and um, Cleo, as they figure out that they are twins and they are both witches who have a bigger role in this kind of familial curse that's going on. It takes place in New Orleans and it's wonderful, it's great, I love it so much. As you guys can tell, I have reread this book, the series, to shreds and I need a new cover desperately before I even t think about touching it because look at that. But I'm excited because again, Kate Tiernan is one of my top three favorite authors, kind of took over my life back when I was a kid and really influenced how I wrote and parts of my life as well. So I'm excited to see how her writing has done it for me exactly because I haven't read these books in a hot minute. And the last book on this list is by the same author and that is The Sweep series by Kate Tiernan. This one follows 16 year old Morgan Rowlands as she kind of realizes she's not necessarily just a normal girl but part of but can do magic as a Wiccan and see that it kind of involves this weird kind of society that she never realized she was going to be a part of. And this is a huge series, like I think I have all these books and they're like clumped into threes. So yeah, but like I said, one of my favorite authors ever. I fell in love with her writing, fell in love with like how she wrote her characters. So it's no surprise to me that if I reread this book, I'll probably fall in love with her all over again. But here's to hoping. And that is it for the books that I need to, I want to reread in 2019. Hopefully I'll get to them all. I have a couple of plans for these books, so I think Fingers crossed I will be able to go ahead and get through them. The first set of rereads happens in January, so keep an eye out for that. But until then, subscribe if you like seeing these kinds of videos. I do upload twice a week, every Saturday and Wednesday, unless something happens, in which case you should definitely follow my social media, which will be down below, which will definitely explain why a video did not go up. But until then, hit like, and talk to you in the comments and all over social media. Bye!